Imagine this. The year is 2147. Humanity stands on the brink of eternity. Our fusion-powered starships, gleaming like silver arrows, slice through the cosmic dark, engines humming with the promise of infinity. The Odyssey, flagship of our interstellar fleet, hurtles toward the Milky Way's shimmering edge, a boundary we've dreamed of crossing since Galileo first gazed skyward. Mission Control erupts in thunderous applause as telemetry streams in, approaching galactic perimeter. All systems nominal, but then a flicker. The view screen glitches. A crew member's voice crackles over the comms. Captain, something's out there. Hits, pulling us back. Alarms wail like banshees. The signal warps, distorts, then vanishes into static. What ancient force lurks beyond our starry cradle? What cosmic guardian seals our fate? Hold on tight. This revelation will chain your soul to the stars. Because this, this is why we will never leave the Milky Way. Buckle up, cosmic explorers. We're about to unravel the unbreakable chains that bind humanity to our galactic home. The Milky Way isn't just a galaxy. It's a colossal fortress, a swirling vortex of 100 to 400 billion stars, spanning a mind-numbing 100,000 to 180,000 light years from end to end. We've conquered its spiral arms, terraformed barren worlds in the Orion Spur, harnessed the raw fury of neutron stars for energy, and even danced with the supermassive black hole at its heart. Sagittarius A, a beast four million times the sun's mass. Our probes have skimmed the Oort cloud's icy fringes, and AI-driven colonies thrive on exomoons light years from Sol. Yet, the void beyond? That's where dreams die screaming. The universe isn't a welcoming sea. It's an expanding inferno of isolation, driven by dark energy, a mysterious force accelerating everything apart at 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Andromeda, our nearest galactic neighbor, beckons at 2.537 million light years. But blink, and it's receding faster, yanked by this invisible hand. By the time you sip your coffee, it's another fraction farther, mocking our ambitions. Let's forge the first link in this chain, the tyrannical speed of light. Albert Einstein's unbreakable decree, 299 192 kilometers per second in vacuum. Nothing with mass can touch it, let alone surpass it without becoming pure energy. Science fiction tantalizes with warp drives, folding space like origami or wormholes as cosmic shortcuts. But peel back the glamour, the Alcubierre metric, a theoretical bubble warping space-time ahead and behind the ship, requires exotic matter with negative mass, stuff that defies gravity, potentially unstable and utterly elusive in labs. Physicists at CERN have chased shadows of it in particle accelerators, but nada. Even if we conjured it, the energy demand? Equivalent to converting Jupiter's mass into pure power. One misstep and your warp bubble collapses, birthing a black hole that swallows the crew whole. Or worse, hawking radiation from the bubble's edges could fry everything nearby. NASA's Breakthrough Propulsion Physics Project toyed with this in the 90s, concluding it's centuries away, if possible at all. We're chained by relativity's iron grip. But suppose we skirt the limit, accelerating to 99.99999% of C using laser sails or antimatter propulsion. Time dilation warps reality. For the crew, a jaunt to Andromeda might feel like 28 years. But back home? 2.5 million years elapse. Earth evolves, civilizations rise and crumble. Humanity might transcend into digital gods or extinguish in a solar flare. Your descendants, if any survive the journey, arrive as relics, ghosts from a forgotten era. And the fuel? The Tchaikovsky rocket equation is a merciless chain. Delta V, uh, V E, L N, M zero, M F. To reach such speeds, you'd need a ship that's 99.99999% fuel, leaving crumbs for payload. Antimatter, gram for gram, the most potent energy source, annihilates with matter to release E os mem C2 fury. But producing one gram? Hit it drain Earth's power grid for years, and storage? Magnetic bottles fail if power flickers. One leak, and boom, your vessel vaporizes in a gamma ray burst visible from Proxima Centauri, chained tighter with the intergalactic abyss. Beyond the Milky Way's halo, space stretches into a yawning emptiness, densities dropping to one atom per cubic meter, rarer than the best lab vacuum. No nebulae to mine for hydrogen, no stars to slingshot around for gravity assists. Your Ramscoop engines, designed to gulp interstellar gas, starve in this desert. At relativistic speeds, those sparse particles transform into lethal projectiles, sandblasting your hull with kinetic energy rivaling nuclear bombs. Ablative armor? It erodes over light years. A 2023 study in the Astrophysical Journal modeled this. Crossing to Andromeda exposes your craft to gigajoules of impact energy per square meter, melting titanium like butter. Cosmic rays, protons zipping at near light speed, pierce shields, scrambling electronics and DNA. Without magical magnetic fields diverting them, Radiation doses climb to 1,000 sieverts hourly, lethal in minutes. We've shielded ISS astronauts with water walls, but scaling for millennia? Impossible without dragging an ocean's mass. Now, weave in biological chains. Homo sapiens evolved under Earth's gravity, not zero G's void.
Muscles atrophy at 1-2% to per month without countermeasures. Bones leach calcium, turning brittle as glass. Artificial gravity via rotation? Sure, but your ship becomes a spinning behemoth, complicating docking and navigation. Psychological toll. Cabin fever amplified over generations. The Mars simulation analog studies by HICs reveal isolation breeds paranoia, depression, now multiply by 10,000. Radiation mutates gametes, chaining birth defects. In vitro gestation pods? They demand AI nannies flawless over eons, but quantum bit flips from Ray's corrupt code. Evolution creeps in. Microgravity favors longer limbs, weaker hearts. Your Andromeda arrivals? A new species, adapted to space, but alien to planets. The chain of life snaps under cosmic stress. Escalate to quantum shackles. At the Planck length, 1.6, 10 to 35 meters. Reality froths with virtual particles, uncertainty reigning. Hyperspace jumps risk plunging into this foam where causality unravels. String theorists like Brian Greene speculate brains separating universes but piercing them. You'd unravel the fabric, chaining a big rip scenario. Or quantum entanglement firewalls as your ship nears light speed, information horizons form, scorching anything crossing. Michio Kaku's Physics of the Impossible classifies intergalactic travel as class 3, requiring god tech we may never grasp. Dark energy chains us eternally. The universe's expansion isn't uniform. It's accelerating, pushing galaxies beyond the cosmic horizon where recession velocity exceeds C. Andromeda is an exception, gravitationally bound in our local group, but Triangulum? Virgo cluster? Already fleeing at 1,000 kilometers S. In 100 billion years, the observable universe contracts to Milk Amida, Milky Way Andromeda merger, all else redshifted to invisibility. We're in a bubble, walls thickening daily. Send probes. Von Neumann's self-replicators could hop star to star intergalactically, but intergalactic? Replication fails without resources. Cosmic inflation strands them. Economic chains crush ambition. Project Orion's nuclear pulse propulsion was scrapped in the 60s over costs and treaties. Scaling to intergalactic. Quadrillions in GDP equivalents. Mining the Kuiper belt for rares, like Iridium strains societies. Wars over helium-3 fusion fuel erupt. Historical chains echo. The Spanish Armada bankrupted an empire chasing horizons. Humanity's Icarus flight. Same fate. Technological pitfalls. Chain further, AI probes might achieve sentience, rebelling mid-void. Power decay, radioisotope generators last centuries, not millennia. Solar sails tatter under micrometeoroids. Communication lags chain command. A signal to Andromeda round trips five million years. Irrelevant. Environmental chains. Exhaust plumes from mass drivers could seed interstellar clouds with pollutants, altering astrochemical evolution. Ethical chains. Displacing potential alien life in target galaxies. Philosophical links. The Fermi Paradox. If escape were feasible, where are the extraterrestrials? Perhaps they chained themselves, realizing the void's a trap, or self-destructed chasing it. We might be alone because the chain is universal. Yet, these chains forge beauty. The Milky Way brims with enigmas, habitable zones in the Scutum Centaurus arm, potential megastructures around Tabby's star, subsurface oceans on Enceladus teeming with microbes. Why flee when Dyson swarms around our sun power utopias? Black hole mining for hawking radiation fuels immortality. We're not imprisoned. We're custodians of a stellar symphony. As shadows lengthen on our cosmic tail, the Odyssey's ghost whispers from the edge. Its final log, the pull, infinite, stars fade. We're homebound. Humanity pivots, channeling ingenuity inward, unifying worlds, decoding dark matter's secrets, birthing stellar engines to steer our galaxy. In limitation blooms mastery. The chain becomes a crown. If this epic chained your imagination, hit like, subscribe for more universe unraveling truths, and comment your escape plan. Bell on, next mind bender incoming. Peace out, stargazers.